Oh, yeah. dude, how did the Operation Spy Spygate go? Dude, it was, was hilarious. For those who didn't know, um, I work for this campaign, and uh, I do videography for them. And they, this is the first time they hired me to go to an opponent of my guy and videotape her... I, I don't know if you want to call it a speech. It wasn't much like it... It's called a town hall, and it's basically where they kind of talk about a topic and usually, like, what they want to do about that topic and stuff like that. They wanted me to go there and covertly record it, and then they wanted to get my neighbor, who's also a big fan of this this guy that's running for Congress, they wanted him to ask some fucking... They called it hostile questions. Hostile questions. They went through her past and found, like, some shit that they wanted to ask her about and try to trip her up on tape. So I've never done something like this before. It was really, like, I was super stressed about it. It's not my thing. They call it a town hall. This thing was an hour and a half long. It was about fentanyl and fentanyl use and overdosing. For the first hour, it was just people in the community talking about, like, their loved ones who have passed away or overdosed and shit like that. It was such a depressing downer. And <laughs> my my boy, who's in, uh, who's in the audience, he's just texting me. He's like, dude, I... I can't, I can't fucking like, I'm not going to just jump in the middle of this and like start screaming out, pay your fucking taxes. <laughs> right? Like, Enemies so we're crying. <laughs> so in an hour and a half, she, it took her an hour to go up. And then she spoke for 24 minutes about nothing. She just talked in circles. And this is the stuff that I feel like you're going to love Mitchie. Not once did she say vote for me. Not once did she say what she was going to do to fix the problem. Not once did she do anything productive. But what she did do was she made comments like old, old school Republicans. She said, yep, and uh, marijuana, it's a gateway drug. Uh, as soon as you start marijuana, you're going to end up uh, dead on fentanyl. And, uh, um, you know, people are getting uh, their marijuana spiked with fentanyl. I mean, it's, it's a real problem. You definitely don't want to do marijuana because you might find fentanyl in your, in your marijuana. I'm like, what oh, the fuck are you talking about? such a fucking scapegoat to talk about that, like, to, like, marijuana's a gateway drug. Says who? What proof is there of that? What statistic is there to prove that? Oh, there that? isn't. Not there anymore. isn't. No. Not there at all. isn't. Not anymore. The more There's a more lot research of weed smokers. Out. More than most that smoke weed and have never, that don't consume, you know, meth, heroin, yeah. cocaine. Because it's the wrong You don't need high. it. Yeah, but it's the wrong kind of high. Like, yeah, it's not, not looking for that. <laughs> it, it, it's not even comparable. No, it it was crazy, dude. I was like, dude, we're in Washington State. It is legal to get marijuana here. Who the fuck is getting laced marijuana with fentanyl, bro? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, oh, what's this white powder in my fucking flower, bro? Like, what? Right. I'm coming. Let, I'm coming, Mitchie. Yeah, because because let's let's lace all of our fucking products with fentanyl and have us get shut down and charged with felony. Like it just doesn't make sense. I was saying this to Johnny yesterday. It's like the argument that they used to push where they're like Grand Theft Auto is the reason why we have school shooters. It's like what the fuck exactly. are you talking about, dude? Like no. Exactly. It's just old, old, like crusty Republican. Mm -hmm. Like like. Whoa! What is that sound? Why does it sound all wet? Dude, what is that? I think is that it, Discord? No, it was, uh, I think these guys down here did, like, a finishing move, and it sounded all wet. <laughs> How did I hear it? Anyway, but yeah, I, yeah, they, I remember when the, the Columbine shoot, shootings happened, they were trying to push the video game violence factor yeah. because they both played, oh, sorry, sorry, I keep remember. they both played Doom. Yeah. And they're like, Doom is just a, it is just inciting violence, and it's like, if you're that weak-minded of an individual to be influenced by a video game, you're going to commit violence anyway. Yeah, it's not the video Sooner game. Or later. It's this person's fucking crazy, dude. One of the speakers that went up uh, was a cop, and he starts crying, and he's like, "I'm just so scared for our community," and blah blah blah, and um, and you know, I miss the good old days of the war on drugs, and I'm like, the war on drugs. You the mean the thing that where they f would fucking put people in prison for the rest of their life because they had fucking 
a, a, like a feather of, of yeah, a f not even yeah. an ounce, dude. Like if they, yeah, a gram, a gram of weed would be like you're thirty years in now. Like, it, it, yeah. It, You know, tra uh, trafficking drugs from, you know, Mexico to the U.S., you can understand them being sentenced to a long term because yeah. you know, we can't regulate how it's laced or not. It could be laced. And a lot of uh, cartels do lace their drugs. But for someone to be sent 15 to 20 years in prison for two grams of weed is absolute bullshit. And there's oh, still yeah. people to this day that are even in my facility that are serving time because they were caught with uh, less than an ounce of weed. Dude, you're fucking trash. No, I know, and that's that's the thing is like, the, the war on drugs was like, if somebody blew pot smoke on your face and then a fucking dog sniffed it on you, that was enough to fucking put you away for life, dude. It's yep. just crazy. So, yeah, so I just listened to these fucking guys. Like, I tried so hard not to roll my fucking eyes out of their fucking sockets, dude. I was just like, oh my god, we're still arguing about this. We're still saying that marijuana is a gateway drug. Like, yeah, I've been do I've been smoking pot for the last ten years, and you know, nothing I want more than to fucking start meth, dude. Like, <laughs> ridiculous, dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm high right now. You know what I want to try is methamphetamine. No, says nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. No. Nope. So it's when you fucking uh, get a surgery and your doctor prescribes you 20 fucking oxy pills and then you fucking were like, oh man, I can't deal without my oxy. Where's heroin? Okay, yeah. here's heroin. Oh wait, I'm out of heroin. Where's fentanyl? Yeah, exactly. It's it's fucking it's, ridiculous. It's a completely dude. different exactly. time. Completely yeah. different. Bro, you hit the you hit the nail on the coffin. That's what it is. It's just it's over prescribed medication and the wrong kind of medication prescribed because you know, Big Pharma is never going to be accountable for their shit. Yeah. So instead, they're going to blame it on weed. Slowly but surely, that those people are being aged out of office. And, you know, eventually they're going to be put... Oh, shit. In the fucking There's going to be people in office that obviously are in our generation. What the fuck is this? Oh, just me? Yeah. But yeah, so she talked for 24 minutes, and then she, at the beginning... She threw up a uh, like a QR code, and you had to scan that QR code and type in what kind of question you wanted to ask her before she like like she was vetting questions, which is fucking crazy. And then <laughs> and then she didn't even answer any of them, dude. She was up for 24 minutes, talked about nothing, bro. Like it was crazy. So it's like, dude, this this chick is not even a fucking problem. Like, there's no way. Unbelievable. I fucking hate politicians. Yeah, dude. It's crazy, man.